Hello guys, welcome to Sim UK. Today I can show you some footage, some first time footage of the trailer update for ETS2 1.3.2. This is an update that allows trailer ownership, something that people have been gasping for for years and years and years and it's almost upon us. You can actually get a good look and see what's going on as part of this video. Now this change uh, potentially will have a significant impact on the way that the ETS2 economy system will operate and it may change and or evolve over time but certainly this is a big step for ETS2. The footage I'm using today has been captured from Sizzle's YouTube channel. Sizzle is a hugely prominent modder in the ETS2 and ATS community. He's only got 2,000 subs on his YouTube page, which is absolutely ridiculous. So please uh, go and sub to his channel. In, and if you want to watch his full 56 minute live video um, showing all the trailer updates, please do head over there and uh, take a look and tell him that I said hi and thank him for all of his hard work over the years. So... Okay, it looks as though the introduction of trailers is going to be extremely thorough, very similar in levels of variety and modification as is currently available for trucks in ETS2. Trucks will be available for purchase from trailer dealerships and uh, I believe Crone are now in partnership with SCS and ETS2. So I imagine the majority, if not all trucks, uh, trailers, sorry, are going to be crone related but that could change over time and i don't really know what's going to happen further on there's all different types of trailer types um refrigerated curtain side a uh, curtain side b double you've got flatbed you've got insulated you've got refrigerated you've got uh, car transporters there are a lot a lot of options available which is really really good to see you can completely pimp your trailers. Like all the trucks, there are a lot of options. There are different chain types. There are doubles, B doubles. These are these these trailers have uh, country specific limitations. In the UK, I think you'll be limited to just single trucks and doubles and B doubles. Probably not available in the UK, but throughout Europe, there are different uh, laws and regulations. So uh, I believe that's all going to be implemented in the game. Uh, in vanilla state on each trailer the axles can be uh, selected individually and changed i don't think this has any difference whatsoever to the physics um, unfortunately handling may be different certainly some of the trailers do have steerable rear axle wheels so that will impact steering to a degree most certainly but uh, yeah there is a lot of customization mostly though it is just cosmetic once trailers have been purchased, uh, you'll be able to change the skins, you'll be able to upgrade them, update them. They do take damage, you'll have to maintain and repair them. I don't think it's implemented at the moment. Certainly Sizzle seems to suggest that at the moment damage is uh, all-encompassing at the moment. But at some point in the future, there will be three types of damage, uh, truck, trailer and uh, cargo. Trailers can be assigned to garages specifically, they can be assigned to drivers and if you place a trailer in a garage you can then collect said trailer from that chosen garage. Connecting up to the trailer is exactly the same as it would be for any normal existing job and uh, when, when, you're in, uh, when you're in the preview area you can also uh, select to see how your truck will look when connected to the trailer which i know for many of you is an important thing now once you have uh, purchased a trailer and you own it and you've connected it you will have access to cargo markets this is obviously new it will only appear if you have uh, bought your own trailer and um, you'll see that products now or produce now are palleted and the information that's available there is very similar with weight uh, the look the feel the details it's all very similar to how it existingly uh, how it looks on the existing system some products require specific trailer types for example refrigerated uh, trailers will be required to transport food and fish and things like this 
You will drive to the collection point, or obviously you'll connect your trailer, then you'll drive to the collection point, as you would with any normal job. The only difference here is that you will now need to park your trailer up in order for the cargo to be loaded. I was hoping for a um, loading animation or something, but no, obviously uh, SCS have, have stuck, stuck to their tried and tested method, and uh, it's almost instantaneous. It's just a, a progress bar, as you can see here. And once it's loaded, away you go. So owning uh, a trailer, uh, obviously trailers are a little bit cheaper than uh, the trucks are, but uh, owning trailers will earn you that little bit more money per delivery because you are using your own trailer. Uh, there are going to be some new Scanias available as part of 1.3.2 and uh, all trailers which are, are going to be upgraded are definitely going to be from the Crone Corporation. It's a German uh, trucking trailer producer, I guess you could call them. Um, and they've been in... Uh, close discussions with SES over the last couple of months and uh, no surprise to see them in the game whatsoever. Uh, in addition to this, uh, you will of course have um, a similar sort of setup with trailer dealerships for uh, ATS. Uh, ATS will also be getting American style trailer types which are slightly different to those in the UK. So the chains available there are the STAA doubles, Rocky Mountain doubles and triples. You won't see any of that in Europe. Um, so yeah, these, these trailers are unique and specific to USA and also the look and style options available are also unique and specific to the USA. For example, you can have a single 28 foot or a single 45 foot uh, trailer and then the axle placing for these again is different but it won't affect the physics but maybe it will affect the handling certainly if you have a, a trailer with rear steering options again. Once again, there are lots of customization of uh, options available to you in ATS and basically they're all cosmetic. This includes the wheels, the tires, the lights, toolboxes, frames, axles, skins, side skirts. You can do an awful lot and I'm sure when the modding community get hold of this, uh, there's going to be an awful lot more available as well. Now there are some noticeable limitations or possible concerns surrounding this. First one being that if you have any trailer mods in your game, they're probably going to break as soon as 1.3.2 arrives. So start getting them out of your game now so that you don't have any conflict issues and possibly lose your game save files. That would be awful. So maybe think about start shipping those out now in preparation for 1.3.2. The modding community around ETS and ATS are just amazing so i've no doubt they'll be sorting this out sooner rather than later um from what i've seen it doesn't appear that you can multi-drop so if your trailer is capable of hauling 50 tons well, that's quite a lot i guess 30 tons let's say and you pick up a job that's 20 tons you can't then go and get a second job for a smaller uh, to fill up the rest of the trailer that i think is a limitation i'd like to see that changed in the future whether or not SCS will do it, I don't know. Let's be fair, any big changes like that do come rather slowly. So certainly at release, I wouldn't expect to see that. But maybe this time next year, something like that will be talked about or maybe even implemented. Who knows? I'm not entirely sure if you can park a trailer anywhere you want and it will remain there indefinitely. I don't see why that wouldn't be an option. But maybe if you do leave a trailer by the side of the road that you own, it will revert back to the garage where you ordered it from. But until I actually get my hands on 1.3.2, I can't test that and tell you for sure. So, yes, other than the fact that all modded trailers are likely going to break, this is all very, very good positive news. And I, for one, cannot wait until 1.3.2 is out. Once again, thank you so much to Sizzle, or Sizzle, I'm not entirely sure how he pronounces his name. I think it's, I think it's Sizzle. Please head over there, give him a big thumbs up, go and watch the video that he's created, and uh, yeah, that's all from me. Thanks very much, take care, goodbye for now.